Hello guys, my name is Catalonia, and I don't know if you guys are aware, but I have a spending problem. I love to buy things, and that means that I have a very big collection of things that I don't really need. Um, and one of those things happen to be makeup. I do work in the makeup industry, so it just happens that I happen to spend money there, and I happen to have a collection. But um, things are getting to the point where this feels like too much. And uh, I think it's time that we go through these drawers again. I haven't gone through this in about maybe like three months, maybe four months, maybe more than that. The last time I posted about it. And it's time. It's really time. Um, the drawer is also broken on this. So I need to call my sister's boyfriend and be like, will you fix this? The name of the game, I think, today is kind of just taking things out in, like, a little bin and putting things in here for now. And then, ki and then kind of just seeing how things play out and where things go. My main priority is this top drawer and also, like, the top three are my makeup drawers. So this is, like, my everyday makeup. I'll bring you guys a little closer. This is everyday makeup. I have a lot. And this is a pretty deep drawer. It goes a little farther, too. This is lips and lashes. And there's a couple little glitter palettes in here as well. I I just... what I only have one pair of lips, you know? And then this is all my palettes and, like, all my setting sprays. So this one probably won't get uh, downsized too much. But uh, I do have lots of love for this drawer. I also have things on top that it like shouldn't be here, like foundation, you know? So, I, it's just time. It's just time. I own too much. It, okay. I just own a lot of stuff that I don't need, I'm not going to touch, or that's like basically empty. I, I just don't need everything. And I think I'm finally ready to accept that. Kenneth is also here in emotional support. I don't know where to start, but I can already see things that I really want to talk about and things that I hate. Like this ABH Beauty Bomb that they literally just came out with is so good. I wear this every day. I have it in shade four and it's, oh, this is, if you haven't gotten this, I think you should try it. It is a little expensive, it's $42, but it's so good. Love that. That is a staple in my collection right now. Uh, this palette I've had for literally ever. And I don't really wear all that often. But I am going to a lot of festivals this year. So I think a lot of these fun colors can be really worth it. So I think I'm going to keep this. This primer from Paracom MD. I got this for myself for Christmas. Um, Literally hated it. So, we are going to get rid of this. This IRL Photo Finish Concealer from Revolution. I really like this. However, I am starting to notice some creasing. And I don't know if that's because of my lack of sleep or because of the concealer. We're going to keep it for now. This by Terrence Blush Palette. I love this thing. So good. Keep my NARS Super Orgasm. This is my favorite blush. Keep. This e.l.f. blush, you know, I really wanted to love it. But I really don't. So, we're going to give this away. Most of this stuff is probably going to go to my sister. So, it's not like I'm getting rid of it, getting rid of it. Spy by Dark Spots from It Cosmetics. I'm going to keep this for now. This e.l.f. Uh, Mineral Infused Primer, I'm not keeping. Not my jam, not my friend. This is the Strawberry Pop from Fenty. This is like a pH almost blush. Like, it's just very beautiful. I love, like, the natural look it gives me. Keep. It's also, like, limited edition. It's super hard to find, so. In my store, anyways. Um, this is Too Faced, their Diamond Fire. 
I like this. It's not my favorite, but I do think I'm going to keep it for a little bit longer. There's ColourPop blush in Swirl. This is my, like, favorite. I love this one. Keep the Pixie blush in, I think this is Ruby. Ruby, keep. I really like theirs. I'd love to try their bronzers. I'm doing all the things I have very set in stone of pains on first. This is the Professional Putty Primer from Benefit. This is empty, so it's going to toss it. This is, whoo, the price, per, this is Benefits Precisely My Brow Wax in shade 3. I've been wearing this every day lately, so we're going to keep this. I have so much stuff. Like, I feel like I've taken so much out, but at the same time, I've gotten nowhere. There's another professional primer that's empty, so we're going to toss that. This is the Shelly Blush from Benefit. I really like this one. Keep this I used to wear all the time. This is the NYX Bear With Me. It's kind of like a jelly blush. And I I really like this. I think it's very fun. I think I'm going to keep it for right now. I have this Dermablend Professional Illuminating Primer. This is just a little too yellow for me, so it kind of washes me out. So get rid of you. Getting rid of... This is... The Uma C One and Done Brow Styler. I hate this. It's a little too auburn for me, so get rid of. This, I love the Nude Sticks Naughty and Spice Blush. I like Nude Stick because one side is a brush, and the other side is the blush, and I love this. I also get always get compliments on this one. Love. Also, the case. I'm going to show you guys the case of it because it's so nice. It comes in a little box. With a mirror on one side. And I personally keep all my nose rings in here. So. Love that. I have this Super Goop Glow Stick. I am going to finish it. There's about half of it left. I don't know that I would buy this specific formula again. They did just come out with some new ones. But lately. I just. Super Goop has not been doing it for me. Lately, like, the oiliness of the unseen is just kind of killing my skin. I have this, like, um, dewy blush from Siete. And, you know, I just think it's a little too peach for me. I won't use it. This is the Fan Fest Mascara from Benefit. I literally still haven't tried this, and I probably won't. So, I'm having a really difficult time being like, what do I pick up next? What do I decide to do next? You know, I've been thinking about this one for a long time. The Unseen Sunscreen. This is nearly full. Uh, I think I'm ready to give this away to my sister. I just don't need it anymore. Lately, I've been wearing, like, the vacation every day. And I really enjoy that. I don't... I'm kind of sick of, like, the overly glowy skin. I feel like we've made a lot of progress already. And that is a lot. <laughs> Bacon set from Morphe. This is in the brightening pink. I actually really like this. So, keep. We're getting down to some hard ones. This is the Cream Shop Blush in Mer Sherry. I've worn this for forever, and it's almost at pan, so I think we're going to keep it until it runs out, because I really like this. Care Bear Blush, Wet n Wild, old collection. Love this. It's not going nowhere. Whew. We're starting to get to the hard stuff. These Hocus Focus Drops from Soap and Glory. I love, I love so much. Unfortunately, they are empty. And I was just keeping it around to like hope that it would, I don't know, come back or something, but I don't think they're going to. Although they definitely should. Soap and Glory should definitely launch these again. They're like, um, they're like white, white drops and they're so good. But um, it's time to say goodbye. And that's okay. Everything comes to an end. <sighs> We're starting to get down to some hard choices. Um, Urban Decay Primer. Keep. Bobbi Brown. Vitamin and Rich Skin Tint. I literally just got. And I really like it so far. It seems nice. But, uh, can you tell I'm very overwhelmed? This Patrick Ta Foundation Powder. I think it's a little yellowy. 
But for right now, I'm going to keep it. It's the only foundation powder I own. Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, I'll keep. I'm like, what do I do? I'm like, I don't need all this. This um, funny story is actually one of the first highlighters I ever bought. It's Flexitarian from ColourPop, and I like this. I really like the texture of it, and I think I forget I own this sometimes, but I, I really like ColourPop. Lottie London, they're frosted. I really like this. And it gives like a beautiful finish. It's like very glittery. This um, super pomade from Kat Von D I just got. So I'm going to keep it for right now. I haven't worn it yet though. So stay tuned. Kylash mascara. Keeping. Colourpop pink ink mascara. Literally already sold out. So keeping. I'm going to keep this Eye Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Rapid Bag Reducer. So I did get it for free and... I'm going to keep that because you never know. We're starting to get down to the nitty gritty. This makes me really sad because like this primer has gone through a lot with me. But I think I'm ready to say goodbye. Elf Poreless Putty Primer, goodbye. I'm going to keep the Too Faced Better Than Sex Natural Mascara. Um, this is the Urban Decay Brow Slick. I am going to keep this. And in exchange, get rid of my two elf ones. We are sacrificing today. I'm going to keep my Fenty highlighter in Trophy Wife. Just because I literally don't have anything. I almost just broke it. I don't have anything similar to this. So we're going to keep it. It's actually one of the first pieces of gratis I ever got when I started my job. Uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and an Urban Decay Eyeliner Pencil in Zero. Keeping black and white eyeliner. Could never not need that. The Precisely My Brow Detailer. Keeping. Getting rid of the Brow Micro Filling Pen. I liked this when it came out. Don't like it anymore. Okay, these are two eyeliners and I don't need them both. I think I already know which one I'm keeping. That is the Benefit one. The Precisely, it's more of like a, a brush tip. More so than a felt tip. And then this is the Lancome felt tip. Personally, I feel like I have a lot more control with a felt tip. And look at how sharp that is. And it's square, so we are going to keep that one. And get rid of the benefit. You know, I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I still haven't touched these. These are the SFX face and body matte paints that NYX did last year for Halloween. And I haven't touched them yet. But I think I'm going to keep them for now. Maybe do something really fun soon. This Pacifica primer, I really liked it, but it's starting to dry out, so I'm going to toss it. This one's a hard one. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Powder in Universal Taupe. I don't necessarily use it for my brows, but what I like about it is that it's also meant to be a lip liner. So, I think I'm going to keep this for use versatility reasons. <sighs> Tarte Shape Tape. I don't love this. However, comma, I did get it for my, birth my diamond gift this year. And I wear it under my foundation a lot, so I think I'm going to keep this for right now. I really liked this when I first bought it. The Quickie from Urban Decay. However, it is very, very full coverage, and uh, I don't love that, so I think it's time. Brow pomade from Benefit. I do feel like it's always safe to just have one of these on hand, so I'm going to keep this for now. Do I use it? Not really, but just in case. This is the Bad Girl Bang from Benefit. I've sworn by this mascara for a very long time, but I think it's time to let go. I'm letting go. I don't need it anymore. Um, Brow Freeze from ABH. It's not my favorite thing, but I do think I'm going to keep it because it's just a very versatile product to have. I'm not, like, big into the whole up brow thing. I did get my brows laminated, and it was pretty cool, but I don't know if I'd do it again. 
This is an Ofra highlighter, and when I was in high school, I had Ipsy, and this was the first highlighter I ever got in that. Um, so it's very 2016 highlighter girl. But I think it's time I let this go. This is the Becca Zero Foundation. Becca is a company that no longer exists, and I really like this. It's just like a, a foundation blur, and I like this a lot. And there's really no other product like it. I'm going to keep both these concealers. The Benefit Boing uh, Bright On Concealer and the Nars Radiant Concealer. Do I think that I'd buy either of these again? No. But I will use them. I'm just, uh, I'm on a struggle bus right now. Hard Candy Instant Bronzer, gone. I've had this butter bronzer for forever. And I don't, I don't love it. I think it's time. I have to have one, so my MAC bronzer, keeping. Ugh, this is the hardest part. This is literally the hardest part. It's just foundations. I own one, two, three, four, five, six foundations right now. <laughs> um, I don't know if these are all like my summer colors or not. We're just gonna put them on the skin right now. Some of these I have either gotten for free or I've like paid for, you know, just depends. These are all the colors of foundations I have. And honestly, it's kind of scary. Like these two are so dark and like these two are pretty dang close. But I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm like, why do I own these? I think out of these foundations, I'm going to keep the Elf Halo Glow. I don't love this. But it is very like nice and sheer. I'm gonna keep the Clinique even better Ugh, for right now. And I'm gonna keep the Light Reflective from NARS. Ugh. I do wanna keep the About Face, but I just, I just don't think that I need it. And it's okay. And I'm gonna get rid of the Laura Mercier too. Cause I, I don't need these. That is literally everything for this top drawer. I'm gonna get a wipe and wipe this down and then we'll be back in the next one. Okay. I'm intimidated. This is pretty much all lipsticks, lip glosses, anything like that. It's my little Barbie mirror that I got last year. And I remember wanting this so bad. It's a little phone. It's iconic. I've never thrown it at that boy. I paid $20 for that. $20. Uh, I'm going to start by taking out all the lashes. I haven't worn lashes in a very long time. So as of right now, I kind of just hoard them all. We'll stop hoarding them eventually. Eventually. I think I'm going to start with things I know I want to keep. Like um, Clinique Lip Sur Moisture Surge Lip. I really like this. It's a very like, intensive lip treatment. This Milani plumper I'm going to keep because it was like a dollar. And I bought two of them. And I do enjoy it. It's really nice consistency. The pressure I feel right now is immaculate. I'm going to keep these NYX fat oils. Do I love them? No. But I really do like the colors I got because they're very bright and very intense. This Kylie lip gloss and this brown, this can go. I'm never going to wear this. But I do really like these Kylie plumpers. NYX Butter Gloss Limited Edition in like a gold. I'm going to keep this. This NYX Duck Plump. I haven't tried this yet, so I'm going to keep it for right now. Flexitarian from Fenty Keeping. I love this color. Clinique Lip Crayon. Basically in Super Strawberry. I love this. Some Maracuja Lip Crumb from Tarte. I don't really not like this. I don't know what shade it's in, but it's like this beigey color and I it's just boring. Very boring. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I literally just bought this and it's fine. I don't know that I love it, but it's kind of just not my color. It Cosmetics Super Serum. This is in shade Self Determined and I really like this color. Really like the formula too, really nice. This Neutrogena Lip Soothing. Uh, lip balm I've had for forever. I love this. Neutrogena makes some good lip products. This Urban Decay Shake. I love this so much. Keeping till the day I die. 
This Bare Minerals lip gloss I really like. It is almost at the end of its life. It's called Clarity. I think it's time to let it go, but I really, really enjoyed this. I would definitely buy Bare Minerals lip balms again. So lip gloss balm. This is the MAC Glow Play lip balm. I am going to keep this. Would I buy it again? No. That's okay. Okay, so I did this thing where I bought all of these Lancome lipsticks because they were all on sale and I've only worn one of them, which is this like bright red that looks so good on me. Love this keeping. This is another one of the colors I got. It's like almost as bright. She's a little bit orangey. I'm going to start... I'm going to save lipsticks to do after. I think I just have to put them on my hand, unfortunately. Or put them on to know. This is an Essence Lip Shine. It's fine. I wouldn't buy this again. I'm going to get rid of it. This is an LA Girl Lip Oil. It kind of reminds me of like the Dollar Tree. I'm going to get rid of this. The Fenty Ice Love is Plumper. It's so good. Keep. This is the, these are the Too Faced Lip Injections. Both in the maximum. One of them is in, one of them is like the limited edition gingerbread and the other one's the traditional, but I'm gonna say goodbye to both. This is the Glossier Rosebomb.com. Would I buy this again? No, am I gonna finish it? Yeah. I just don't think it's worth it for me. And that's okay. I am gonna keep all of my lip liners just because I don't have a ton. I would like some more of these. This is something I would like to invest in this year. I think I'm just gonna full on send it and get rid of minis because when am I gonna touch these? This Morphe, I really like, I get a lot of compliments and I have the matching lip liner. Same with this Revolution one, they also discontinued this, so another reason I have to keep it. Really like this nude stick retro, it's like a very dark lipstick. I don't do that too often. Elf lip oil, am I going to keep this? Yeah, would I buy it again? No. It's just Winky Lux Confetti. One of my old coworkers actually bought this for me because she really wanted me to have it. I like it. I don't know that I would buy it again, but it's really good. Ugh, I love this MAC red lipstick. It's like this dark burgundy red. Love it. It's limited edition. It is E for effortless. The Kylie lip oil is a staple in this house. I have three of them. Um, I very much love these, so we're gonna keep them. This Bobbi Brown, this is a non-tinted version. Actually, it's their, um, barely pink. Uh, they're, like, lip tints. It's okay, it kind of feels like chapstick. This lip mask from Dionis is literally my favorite. I would buy a hundred of these. Um, the Milani lip oils. I really like these when they came out, but I'm kind of over it now. Say goodbye. The Haas Labs, oh, I wanted to like this so much, but unfortunately, I really didn't. I'm going to keep it and use it this summer, but I don't know if I'd buy it again, especially in this color. I like the consistency of it, just not the color. The Stila, ugh, I don't remember what these are called, but it's like they're lip oils with just glitter in it. I like the color it gives. The glitter is a little chunky, so it's a textured thing for me, but it's not terrible. This is the It Cosmetics Lip Serum in shade Humble. I really like this color. Like, it matches my lips very well, so I'm going to keep it. Another Neutrogena lip product. I love this lip oil, but it is empty, so I'm going to toss it. Chapstick, this is Smith Strawberry. I love this. I put this on at a restaurant one time. And the waitress asked me what perfume I just sprayed, so this smells so good. I am going to keep this Smashbox Limited Edition. This is shade Blessed. Again, like a darker red. Really enjoy this. And I think we're going to swatch all the lipsticks that are left in here and just kind of go from there. We are pretty much down to, like, final choices, mainly just lipsticks. Like this NYX Lothal, this NYX Fatal. I don't love it, but I'll keep it. You know, like uh, this NYX Smooth Whip, I've worn this a couple times, I'll keep this. This MAC in Forever Curious, I really like this to keep. This is MAC Ruby Woo, I just bought this, I really love this. 
I really like MAC lipsticks. They're really great. This Fenty, I really liked. However, I did notice a lot of smudging. But that color is just beautiful. So, I'm unsure at this moment. This is MAC and Syrup. I don't think I liked this one. Yeah, but my sister will love this color. It's almost like a... Kind of like a velvet. It's like a... Almost like a pinky... mauve violet. This is the L'Oreal Paris The Matte Lipstick. I really actually enjoy this color. It's like this nice berry. So I'm going to keep this. Yeah, I am going to get rid of these. This is a Too Faced in Crazy For You, one of the heart cores. I don't wear this a ton, but for right now, I'm going to keep this. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to clean off my arm, and I'm going to clean this drawer, and then we are going to go through it. And then we have one more drawer, and then we are all done. You know... I'm very proud of myself so far. And then this whole bucket is filled. And honestly, that's a lot for me. Because I don't need to be consuming this much. I really don't. I love this fan, but it's literally broken on both sides. So I think I'm going to toss it. I'm sorry. I love you. I don't think I'm going to get rid of much in here. But there is like a jumbo pencil that should be in here. So this can go. I already kept one on one. I really like these graphic liners that I got. They're water activated. They're so nice. I'll stick to my mini roll for one of these. So I'm going to throw away the bare, uh, benefit one. I do like to keep one just for traveling. Don't really need this anymore though. So I can toss this. And this mini neutrals palette that I literally don't wear. So I'll get rid of this as well. It feels really good. I'm going to set these drawers back up. I don't have like organizers or anything. But just put everything back kind of how it was. I just want to say that I am so proud of myself. Have I become a person now that doesn't spend any money on makeup? No, but I can at least say that I've tried and I've made an effort and I've made an impact on what my drawers look like. Look at this. This is not nearly as full as it once was. Uh, I am so proud of that. Do I still own four mascaras and five different concealers? Yes, it's still a problem for me, but, you know, this makes me feel a lot better than what it originally looked like. Uh, my lip drawer. My lip drawer looks great. Very empty. I got rid of some of my lashes, and I organized them in the back. This just makes me feel so good. <laughs> Look at all the stuff I get, I'm getting rid of. <laughs> this whole entire bin. I'm just really proud of myself and I'm so happy that you guys are always able to just like come along on these little journeys with me. Is this anything like crazy important or crazy societal changing? Not really, but I do just want you guys to see the impact that something so small has on me because this is my day to day life and it's something that really impacts me and I'm really trying to stop consuming as much because I don't need all this stuff. What is one person going to do with all this stuff? I don't need it. And that's okay. And it's okay for me to recognize that. And I'm just coming into some really big changes right now. I can feel it. And I'm really happy that you guys are coming along with me. But I love you all so much. Thank you so much for coming along on today's journey. I will see you all next week. Bye. Bye.